Hi, right, we're here today to um, illustrate to you our new long line called Easy Set Long Lines, made locally here in Waipu. It is a 25 hook long line, very easy to use. It's made up of UV PVC plastic, which is very durable. It has the 25 hooks on top. The, um, it also has a clutch on top, all made out of stainless steel componentry. The clutch acts as a, a brake. It has a stainless steel guide, which is also 316, and a stainless steel shaft, which is also 316, made out of materials that are going to last you pretty well forever. It simply fits into a vertical rod holder, as Jason here will illustrate. You turn it round so the guide locks into position for the setting of the long line. It has to be that way. When you bring the long line up to retrieve it, you turn it round 180 and put the guide in the outward position. And that's pretty much how it's set up. Right, we've just set a um, clip the buoy to the end of the uh, dropper line and Jason's just letting out 30 metres of dropper. We suggest you motor away, if you can't drift motor away at around about 2 knots and um, there'll be an orange tag that comes out very close to where the hooks are and Jason will illustrate in a minute. As soon as he gets it, there it is, you clip your anchor on to the orange tag. The loop on the tag and let that go over the side and then slowly motor away and they will flick out by themselves as you can see we suggest that you mount your vertical rod holder on the um, aft port side as the hooks flick out to the port side and um, yeah there's no no hard work with this one you just let it go out all by itself you make sure your hooks when you bait them are all pointing outwards because the centrifugal force will tend to throw them outwards Spinning a little bit quicker than you prefer, you can adjust the clutch, tighten the clutch down as Jason's illustrating, and that will slow the rate of deployment. We're coming up to nearly coming up to the end of the line, and Jason will get another grapple and attach it to the orange tag which comes out. Just be careful when you are going to reach for the line to make sure your hooks have all gone. And there we go, there'll be an orange tag. Jason will Connect the other grapnel to the orange tag, throw it over the side, motor away quietly, and you'll come to the end which you clip another float on. There we go, Jason will clip on to that one. Unclip from the main reel. And let your boy go. And that's pretty well it for setting. Okay, Jason's just picked up the um, float on the windward end. And he's going to clip it onto the actual line. Right, no, that's it mate, that way. Not really an anti-clockwise, just wait until the 30 metres 30 meter of dropper comes up. Just disconnect the anchor from the orange tag. And he can start retrieving 
the line. It's only been set for about 10 or 15 minutes, so it's not a true illustration of how it fishes. Bring the, the clip round. Just leave the baits on, mate. Pull your snood around at least halfway round and drop it into a slot. It's as easy as it is. The guide helps, well, in fact, ensures the line goes back onto the reel. As you can see, it's a very simple operation. As you're bringing the, putting the hooks, the snoods and traces back onto the reel, you're reloading it for the next set. You don't have to um, pick them up off the floor out of the bucket and untangle them and put them back on the trace board. That's why one of the reasons it's called Easy Set. And easy, easy everything really. So, yeah. Just do one slowly, Jason says he's, as he's bringing it round anti-clockwise he pulls it probably halfway around the reel and slot, just drops it into a slot. You can double up on the hooks but um, it's better to try and get the individual slots, that's why there's 30 slots. There's the orange tag, unclip your grapnel. Hopefully. <laughs> and then just reel in your dropper line. And the float should be on its way in, hopefully. Yep, unclip your floats. Take your line and put it clip it into one of the one of the slots and Bob's your ankle all done. <laughs> 